Hey folks, it's Revan here. Hope you're all doing well. And today I'm covering a bit of a tutorial over in OBS Studio version 28. Now, OBS Studio version 28 came out not too long ago, and there has been some interesting problems going around with it in terms of the plugins and how things work, don't work, and kind of thing. Um, OBS Studio did a great up upgrade of version of the actual application. It looks fantastic, looks great, but you probably will get an error message like this. So you get an error message that's actually showing up as regarding to Stream Deck or other plugins that you're having problems with and you're wondering how on earth you're gonna get rid of that error message. Well, it's time to show you how. So in regarding to this uh, version, it's um, pretty new. It's actually nice. It's uh, very colorful and it's actually a good presentation of the actual layout of the whole application. Um, pretty much uh, you can adjust it uh, as you see fit. I mean, like you can actually make the audio mixes go vertical and a few other things as well. But um, there is a cool hotfix uh, that I found through different people out there around the world as well as myself have worked it out that the best way to get around this issue for OBS Studio version 28 is to actually remove the certain plugins but apply this hotfix first. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how we did it because it's actually pretty cool. So. I will admit um, with this solution that we are about to present you, it's actually pretty damn easy, decent. So what we're gonna show you is that this um, here is showing you the Elgato website. Now, when you go to the Elgato website, um, this link will be provided in the description down below for you to go check it out for yourselves. Now, pretty much uh, when you look at this, it's actually the plugin update is of OBS uh, Studio version 28. Um, there's a certain features that's been introduced and everything like that. It's actually pretty cool. And honestly, uh, this is the best solution that uh, Galta came up with. And it's very clearly. So basically, when you download this um, OBS Studio plugin installer, uh, you go ahead and download and install it. Download and install the program. So pretty much this is how you do it. Go for the process. Um, you can go ahead and click on repair if you already got an existing installation. I'll just do it for this video. Um, that's all right, that's fine. And then you just click okay. It takes a little while. But yeah, the whole process doesn't take too long to install the whole program. So while that program is installing, um, as you can see that uh, the next uh, step that you need to do is uh, obviously um, download this uh, Studio plugin. So once you've fi finished the installation, click note if you don't want to restart yet. Um, basically when you see this part here, see where it says download OBS Studio plugin, you download it like so and then you run the application. Now, because um, you already have you know, this program already downloaded and installed, um, it is you know pretty straightforward that you can just follow the process, go ahead and install it. Um, because I've already done it on my machine already for this video, this is actually showing that, you know, like it said, it can't be installed, but in the ways, if you've already got it installed, uh, just click OK in the way. Now, once that's all well done for you, and the next step that you have to worry about is actually figure out where to from here. So, the next step is, funnily enough, we will launch OBS Studio and test out the functionality to see if it works. So, um, basically if it works and the application uh, still brings up the pop-up message, well, I'll tell you what you need to do in the next step. 
Okay, so we have loaded up the program again uh, for OBS Studio and we still have this message, okay? Um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky for you to understand on how we're going to remove it and take it from the next few steps there afterwards. So what we need to do is that we have to navigate our way through in File Explorer to actually where these plugins are located on the actual application. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? All right. So the plugins are going to be pretty straightforward to define and I'll, t I'll show you in this video what you're going to be dealing with. All right. So here we go. Okay, so what we need to do is that we need to navigate our way through to Program Files, OBS Studio, OBS Plugins, and 64-bit. Now, once you load up the actual application to get to where we are in this folder, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff in there, right? Now, you'll notice that the plugins that I had issues with was with uh, Stream Deck plugin. So basically, if we go ahead and delete that, and uh, so that gets rid of the actual plugins um, from the actual application. And the fun part is to simply just close OBS Studio and restart it again. So let's go ahead and do that and I will show you what happens next. Okay, so we fire out the program and this is what the error message is showing. So basically it's showing that I have removed the Stream Deck and I have one application I'm still working on is with a Stream FX at the moment, at this stage. So that is um, pretty much a good way to summarize that you have got rid of that issue and you still have the functionality to swamp over between, you know, mirror to mirror um, image and scenes and everything like that without any problem whatsoever. And that's actually pretty cool. So that's great. Now the fun part is getting StreamFX to work. Now StreamFX, um, it's a little different, I have to say, because like I had done some research of my own. Um, StreamFX is a little bit more involved. Um, basically, that there is a newer version that is made compatible with uh, this system so let's just go through the process so stream fx i mean like uh basically if you're having problems with stream fx plugin for example um i download the uh, version alpha edition uh, for this and basically it seems to be working fine uh, as far as i know um you download the executable file and you run it as so and basically if you get that prompting message you just go run in a way and then you can install it for all users you just go ahead and click accept uh, static is fine click install and that is it pretty much um what you need to do and going forward though is to actually close the application and reopen it and see what happens next Okay, so we have managed to get some lift off on this application at the moment. So just bear with me one second. I believe that we were able to get it going. Um, pretty much, you just go ahead, click accept here. Um, there is something like, you know, some plugins and stuff. Just go ahead, close that. Anyways, and as you can see here, is that you got your StreamFX um, application up and running. Sweet, so that works with version 28. Now, in going forward though, um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Everything's up and running, everything looks good. Uh, it does take a little while. First, remember that this is the alpha version. It's still work in progress, and you know anything can happen, will go wrong, can go wrong. Um, so definitely just play it by ear. But at the end of it, you got version 28 of OBS Studio running with your plugins. You got your stream deck, your scenes going back and forth like so. Um, that looks actually pretty cool. But uh, hey, that's actually old content right there. 
<laughs> but uh, no, that's actually awesome. No, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, like just by looking at that, that's actually very nice, and it's actually very different. Looks good. You can swap it over, and looks great. So that's it, you know, my friends. That's it, pretty much it. Mm. So that is um, the gist of it of putting it back together for Stream FX. Now, all you need to do now is just make sure all your scenes are working fine and just test your functionality of your OBS program. Get up and running. Call a day. Happy streaming. That's it. Take care, stay safe. If you have any questions, though, just let us know. We're here for you.